Above the angry crowd in the Hippodrome, the balcony where moments before the Emperor had stood, making a final plea, was suddenly empty. There was a kind of expectancy in the air, a sense of fate made subservient to the common will, as if it had become possible to do momentous things as long as there was a collective drive towards the desired goal. They could not be checked, they would not be placated, they would thunder forth and remake the world. One might wonder, what is the colour of power? You might think it should be purple, because only the Emperor and the Empress were allowed to wear purple robes. But I intended it to mean something else. Because when this riot took place in Constantinople, the only way it could be put down was by extreme violence. Justinian eventually sent his generals, Belisarius and Mundus, into the Hippodrome, this circus that was like the Colosseum in Rome, where the men were gathered. And they slaughtered in one day 30,000 men. They painted the Hippodrome red. It ran with blood. So I intend the title to mean that the colour of power is not purple, it is red. It's the colour of blood. Because only through extreme violence can an absolute tyranny sustain its power. The sequel to The Colour of Power tells the second half of Theodora's life. I would like to say something about this title as well, A Triple-Headed Serpent. What does that refer to? Well, when Justinian came down with the plague, which he did, this is historically accurate, I show him hallucinating, which was one of the symptoms that the plague exhibited. And I have him looking at his wife, this small woman whom he adored, and hallucinating and seeing her as a serpent with three heads. There was such a serpent in the Hippodrome on the top of the Tower of Apollo and that is the concrete image that I think he had in his mind. He looks at her and he sees the heads, one being power, one being evil and one being death. Then afterwards when he recovers, which he also did, uh, truly, then he doesn't remember that he said that. He doesn't remember that terrible vision that he had and she never tells him. But that is the triple-headed serpent, the bad things, the evil things that are connected necessarily, I believe, with absolute power.